I'm one of my happy subscribers, it's your boy Marco, and I'm back with another Call of Duty commentary. Uh, before we get into what we're talking about, I just want to say uh, thank you everyone for the support I got on my previous COD tip video. Um, I was so happy about the results. Um, I was really hesitant about what I was going to get for results from you guys. If you guys are going to like it or dislike it, um, you know, I was just so happy on uh, basically the results. You know, uh, it was my first time ever doing that kind of thing. I did coach in the objective back in Black Ops 2, uh, but that was something totally different than what I'm doing right now. Uh, the Basically, that video, the tip video, and all the future coaching tip videos you guys are going to see are basically first-hand problems that a one competitive player would have or a team would have when playing on a competitive setting. Um, so I was happy, uh, you know, it was an 18-minute video. Uh, it is, that is very long. That's three gameplays, more or less. Um, you know, I, I, I was very hesitant in the, about the results. I didn't know if you guys watched the full thing, the full 18-minute video, or only half of it, but if whatever. If you guys did watch the full thing, uh, I really, really appreciate it. I got almost about 40 views on it. Uh, and then also, I even got likes and comments, which was my primary goal. Uh, to get comments and people liking the videos, uh, because this series, this series can actually end right after this upload. Um, I can't make any more videos until people come to me with their problems uh, in in the competitive setting. So this series is basically all on you guys. Um, I don't want to put pressure on you guys, but if you guys, if you guys like these this kind of series, I know there's only two videos, but if you guys like this. Make sure you definitely leave your comments in the section below saying that you liked it, liked this video and whatnot, uh, so I can keep uploading this because this is gonna be based on my su subscribers. So that's, that's one of my primary goals for this year is to get people to comment more and to like my views more because I can get the views. I just struggle on the comments and uh, the likes and or the radio system, I should say. So, if you guys have a problem in Call of Duty in a setting as a player or as a team. Um, by all means, definitely leave in the comment section below, and I'll address that either in a text or in a video. Uh, to get it addressed into a video, um, if it's like a problem where someone comes, uh, someone puts down in the comment section below says, uh, my weakest game type is domination, I don't know how to capture the objectives properly, um, can you help me out with this? And then if someone else has that same problem or something similar, um, then I'll make a video of it. Uh, you don't always have to leave a comment because you have to make some like Google Plus shit, whatever. I don't know what it is. It's, stu it's stupid. But if someone doesn't have, if someone has the same problem, um, uh, if you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. Just leave a like towards that comment. Like someone ha put that comment down there, and you want, you don't want to type anything. You just leave a click the like button on that comment. I believe you could do that, and then uh, I'll know more than one person has the, uh, you know, the same problem. Also. Um, if it's a map, like say for example that that specific problem, uh, no, I can't secure objectives and domination. If it's a certain map, uh, please, please, please put the map down uh, so that I can you know go work on it firsthand. Because if not, then I'm just gonna do strike zone. Uh, that's probably basically what I'll do. I'll try to open up to other maps as well. But uh, strike zone is the easiest, and every coaching tip video is gonna be different. It won't consist of bots all the time. This is these two ep the first one and this one episode. It's gonna be consistent of bots. There might be some other ones that will also consider bots. But usually it's just gonna be about uh, me on the me running around the map or I'll have a friend or even I'll have subscribers uh, help me with this. That's another idea that I have. Uh, first off I wanna say sorry if I stop every now and then. Um, this is a long video and I will be taking some uh, some water with me, so if you hear me silent, I'm probably drinking some water. So, definitely leave in the comment section below your problems and whatnot. Um, I, I can fix it. I've been a coach for about almost two years now. So I know all these problems. I know how to fix most of them. So definitely please let me uh, do that for me. I really appreciate it. But I'm just rambling on. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, as you guys, if you guys can't figure it out right now, uh, this is another test, obviously. And if you didn't see the kill feed or the way I'm killing people, um, this is... Headshots only. Now this test is called the shooting test. Uh, basically, what the shooting test does it increases your in-game accuracy to make basically improvements for your, your 
gun skills. And the problem, the main problem that competitive players have, um, this goes for actually not even competitive players. This, this is a big problem for every single Call of Duty player out there. Um, either when they first started or even now if they've been in Call of Duty scene for quite a while. The big problem is that people don't shoot at the chest level, they'll shoot at the stomach and below. Which is a big problem, because it takes longer to kill if you were to shoot them in the head. It takes, uh, if you shoot them in the head, you kill them a lot faster. Sorry I'm drinking so much, um, my throat just got really dry for some reason. I don't know why my, my, the air in my room is just really dry, so hopefully that, uh, you know, my throat can stay moist so I can talk longer. Anyways, so... In a, in a competitive setting, what do you want to do is you want to, when you're, when you're in a gunfight, you always want to shoot at the chest level. Reason being for this, the chest level, because it's bigger, it's the biggest part of the body, obviously, because it's the main part of the body. Um, you're not shooting the legs or the arms, and you, don't, you want to kind of avoid that area, you just want to shoot for the chest. Another reason why you want to shoot at the chest is because if you get hit by a, a stray bullet, or if you're on a face-to-face -face gunfight with another enemy player, and they shoot you, your gun is going to jump up or kick up, which is the flinch uh, flinch feature of the game, which is uh, the perk to kind of counter that. It's the focus perk. So the reason why we want to aim at the chest is because if we, if if you get in a face face gunfight with someone and you're aiming someone at the chest level, uh, you'll see your gun kick or uh, jump up upwards no matter what gun it is it'll always jump upwards more more or less more often than not it'll jump up and if you aim at the high chest level and, and it jumps up a bullet is going to hit him in the head and that's what you want um, when you hit uh, when you attack someone and you hit someone in the head uh for eight, eight, every single gun in the game handgun launchers assault rifles so on and so forth um they'll have a hit multiplier of uh either like a one point 3, 1.4, even 1.5, I think some happens. Like, I think 1.5 happened in a few called years ago. Uh, I don't know if there's any in this this title, but uh, there are out there. But usually the standard is 1.4, uh, 1.3 hit multiplier. And um, that, that's what you want. You want to aim for the head, because then you get the kills a lot faster. Uh, you know... Like I said, the main problem is people aim towards the stomach and below, and that just takes a lot of bullets and a lot of time, uh, especially in a competitive setting because you know the game is so fast-paced. You want to get the you want to get the kills as much as, as fast as possible. So, uh, killing them anyway and as fast as you can is uh, you know 100% uh, allowed. I guess uh, I don't know what what the right word is, but you want to do that. So. This test helps to solve that problem if you keep shooting the person at the stomach and below. Um, this is headshots only. All my kills are on the head. And if you keep doing this for hours and hours on end, you'll get in the habit that that's the only way to kill someone. And then when you're doing this during in-game matches like public or competitive or whatever, um, you'll find your shot more towards the chest area. And then again, that, that flinch feature I just told you about uh, will come to into effect. Now, the object of, of Call of Duty Competitive is to always attack someone from the side or from from behind. Uh, the reason being for this because you never want to go in, in a face-to-face -face gunfight because there's a 50-50 chance uh, that you'll die or win, and you don't want that. The odds are just too great. Um, so, that's why you always want to attack from the side or from behind. Now, if you watch uh, Scumpy's videos, um, when, he, when he's doing pub matches, all his kills are more or less from the side uh, because, you know, they have map knowledge, uh, the pros have map knowledge compared to just the random pub players that play. Alright, so I was drinking again. Alright, so this, this test is basically the same principle as the killing test. Uh, there's three rounds. The first round we just saw, we're watching the second round right now. And the third round's coming on. And then there's two sets to this test. There's the beginner, and then there's like the advanced, intermediate kind of level thing. Um, the beginner level is... The beginner and the advanced level starts off... Or... Things start off the same way. Only difference is, is on the third round. So, the difference between this test and the killing test is that the bots... There's, a, there's less bots. Uh, and there's headshots only. 
and you want to control your shots. You don't want to spray. You want to try to control your shots as much as possible. Wow, my room is just totally dry. I'm sorry about this, but I'm like out of breath. My throat is really dry for some reason. I need to get some oxygen in here. But anyways, I don't want to no, freaking talk about my shortness of breath. Uh, but anyways, so the first level, the bots, I believe I have five bots on. I believe I have five or six bots on. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, and headshots only, like I said before. The first level of bots are going to be on mixed, just like in the killing test. Second level is going to be on uh, regular, and the same thing as, as the killing test. And what you want to do, based on the same principle as the, the killing test, you want to compare your, sta your KD stats from round 1 to round 2. And then on the third level, for the beginner for the shooting test, for this test you're watching right now, you want the bots to be on Harden. And then for the advanced people, for the people who are like, more skilled and who you know, play the game a lot better, you want them to be on Veteran, uh, just because of the fact that they're a lot harder to kill. Now, I disabled um, throwing knives for this because uh, when they get on hardened veteran, all they basically do is throw a knife at you. Uh, so I'll be making videos about how to set these tests up. You guys can do it uh, on your own. I know from the last video, some people said that they're going to try it out. Um, that's great. I know. I hope hopefully that the, these tests helps you. Um, as I said in my previous video, that these tests have like kind of. Like, rapid results and that's that's really good so hopefully you know you guys can see your results right away so again from from basically from the killing test to the shooting test the test you're watching right now you want to compare round one to round two your kd scores uh you want to keep around one to round two kd scores or your kills around the same as well with the deaths and then from the third round you want to get half of each so, for example, if in the first round I get 42 kills, and then the second round I get 40 kills, and then, uh, say, the first round I get 20 deaths, the second round I get 21 deaths or 19 deaths, whatever like that. In the third round, you want to get 20 kills and 10 deaths, so half of each. And then you want to add up your kills and your deaths, and you can see your total uh, kill-death ratio from the, from the full three rounds. And again, just keep doing this hours on hours on end, and it'll just get in your head that you have that this is the only way to kill someone. And then when you're playing the game, it will help out your accuracy or help out your ability to kill people uh, when you play. And then you know you're, you'll get a lot faster kills, and you know that's what you want. You want to get those headshots for the head multipliers. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I don't know what my score is for the end of this this round, or even the first or second round. I, I didn't. I uh, forgot to take down my score, but you guys can definitely go back. I think I go 40 and something in the first or second round. I don't know. But, anyways, as I said before... Sorry, I was drinking water again. Um, as I said before, uh, you know, leave in the comment section below what your problem is in Call of Duty, what your issue is. Um, like I said, this series can end right after this video. So I can't think of every single problem that someone has within Call of Duty Competitive. Um, so this will only come from you guys. Uh, that, uh, again, th this series will end basically when you guys don't comment and let me know what your, what your issue is. So if this is an individual issue or a team issue, please, please, please put in the comment section below of your problem as well as maps. As I said before, if you have a problem capturing objectives for domination, let me know what map it is, if it is a certain map. Or is this in general? Uh, and then I'll, I'll address to the, towards that. And not all the tests will consist with bots. Uh, some of them will just be just me running around. Uh, I might have some of my past old teammates or just some random friends that I have on my Xbox Live account. Or I even might even do subscribers. And I'll I might even take that one subscriber who has the problem and go inside the game with them. And show them firsthand. And just record it. So that's an idea that I have. So make sure you guys do that, and uh, you know, this I I I I can really enjoy doing this series. Is this gonna be just as fun as doing you know um, the play breakdowns that I used to do in Black Ops Two? I really enjoyed doing that. Uh, so, anyways, that's about it. 
Uh, we're almost done. This game is almost finished. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, again, leave a like, comment on your issues, or comment. Let me know that you like the video and whatnot. If there's any way I can improve this uh, kind of series uh, that I'm doing, uh, definitely please let me know in the comment section below. I'll love to try to improve this as much as possible. Again, the more feedback I get from you guys, the better quality and content I can upload for you guys, and better educational videos I can do for you. Uh, anyway, so that's about it. I'm rambling on again. Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace out. Good job. Report to command for debrief. 